This short animated video explains the basic concept of six thinking hats technique, which gets to look at the problem in six different ways by wearing six different colors hat. How this is done? We'll look at all this in this short video. So please don't go anywhere else. Just sit back, relax and enjoy this video. The six thinking hat technique was proposed by Edward D. Bono in 1999. He is a well-known expert in creative thinking. With this method, we investigate together the facts, the feelings and the pros and the cons and the creative solution that we can come up with. He called this as a parallel thinking. So in six thinking hats, the main idea is to have the group only wear one hat at a time and think out of the box when considering a problem. At one time, Everyone will wear the same color hat and look at the problem only from one perspective. Or in other words, everyone thinks about the same issue at the same time by putting on these six different hats from different perspective. Some people may think from rational point of view, other may think from emotional point of view. So we have to balance the both these effects. Each hat has different colors and represent a different style of thinking. The color of hats are red, black, white, yellow, green, and blue. These colors were chosen for a particular reason. They are associated with certain situations which will help you remember the objective of each separate hat. Six hats with six different colors all representing a different aspect of your thinking. So when you wear a specific hat, the rule is you stick to the kind of thinking it represents. When you want to switch to different style of thinking, you need to switch the hat as well. So we'll look at all these hats one by one and their interpretation as well. Six thinking hats can be used in any order. Typically we start with blue hat and and with blue hat as well. The blue hat talks about big picture in the process. So the person wearing the blue hat starts the meeting and ends the meeting. It essentially sets the thinking strategy. This hat can be used to drive the thinking process to better roots. It typically, the blue hat is worn by facilitator, chairperson or the leader of a session. So when you are, or your team are in blue hat mode, you focus on controlling your thinking and managing the decision making process. At the end, the blue hat asks for outcomes of the solution. It may come in form of a summary, conclusion or a decision. The blue hat allows us to focus the specific the decision, outline and design the program and result or basically summarize and draw conclusion. The next thinking hat is white hat, which talks about facts and information. So this hat covers the facts, figures, information needs and gaps. It looks at what is known and what information could be missing without jumping into conclusion. The association is with paper and on which facts are recorded. It asks you to gather and analyze as much information as possible about the situation. White hat thinkers work well with green hat thinkers. For example, when a green hat thinkers come up with new ideas or solution, the white hat thinkers can find the data which may support the solution. White hat thinkers allow us to find what information do we have or like what information do we need, what information is missing what questions do we need to ask? How are we going to get the information we need? And who, what, where, why, when, and how? This is about white hat. Next hat is the red hat, which is of feelings and emotions. So this hat covers intuition, feelings, and emotions. It focuses on what people feel about issue under discussion. Importantly, there is no need to rationalize or explain. The emotional hat presents the stakeholders feeling about the problem and their gut feeling. 
Usually they are left out of discussions since they are neither based on facts or logic. Using this, that is to understand the different emotional response such as love, hate, like and dislike. If people think they have to validate their feelings, they will never put forward only those feelings which can be validated. The red hat allow us to know what do you feel about the suggestions and what is your gut feeling. That is red hat for you, feelings and emotions. Next hat is a green hat, which is of creativity and new ideas. So this green hat covers the creativity alternatives and proposals. This hat is often used in brainstorming to generate ideas. This hat represents the creative thinking part of a discussion. During the critical thinking discussions, this hat fuels the stakeholders thinking to innovate a creative thinking solution for the problem or look to suggestions from creative perspective. A person that is a green hat thinker is strong at generating new and innovative ideas. This person is valuable in a situation where the creative solution to the problem needs to be developed but can sometimes have difficult times in the path forward. While wearing this hat, you can have any number of ideas coming up and are noted down for discussion with the group. Make sure that no idea is criticized and every thought is appreciated as the hat allows every crazy idea to be approved. Next hat is a yellow hat, which is about benefit and positives. The so yellow hat covers the benefits and the positives and the optimism. The hat strives to bring to your notice the positive values of the issues. The stakeholder think from optimistic point of view about the problem or suggestions. This is a logic positive. Why something will work and why it will offer benefits. It can be used in looking forward to results of some proposed action, but can also be used to find something of a value in what has already happened. The stakeholder think from an optimistic point of view about the problem or suggestion. The yellow hat is a lot harder to wear than the black hat because under this hat, one try to see how it, it may be possible to put ideas into practice. During this discussion, or when you're wearing this hat, the questions that may come up are like, what are the advantages of applying to the solution? Or, and what do you think it will work? The last hat that you can wear is a black hat with cautions and negatives. So black hat covers the cautions and negatives. This hat helps you identify flaws, weak points, and dangerous consequences of an idea proposed by a team. This hat, it is the most valuable hat. Black hat thinker is someone that looks at things with critical eye. The focus here is on the problems, risks, and challenges that this idea might pose. They are people who overuse the black hat and spend all their time trying to find fault with the situations or a person or even themselves. The fault again is not in the use of the black hat but actually in the abuse and overuse or misuse of the black hat. A brilliant example which I can recall would be of food. A food is essential for life but too much food might make you overweight and might cause serious health concerns. During this discussion, you can ask questions like what are the risks involved and why is this suggestion not working? So that is black hat for you. Some key uh, points to remember while using this technique. Always think in style of a hat you are wearing. Any other ideas or thoughts that surface are to be ignored. The hat represents a typical style of thinking. They do not describe people, thinking habits or, or any other thoughts here. Instead of arguing, use parallel thinking to display different views next to each other and compare it later. Follow the rituals of hats and the colors. Take the method as serious game and stick to the rules that you have developed. Hats are meant to simplify the thinking and make it more efficient. So don't complicate things here. Now say for example that if you have a problem solving 
situation, then you can use this sequence. You start with blue hat, define the problem, and white hat will look at all the available information. The one with green hand will look at all the possible solutions. The yellow hat will look at the reality check, whether the solution is working or not. Black hat will look at some weak points and solutions. Then the white hat will look connect all the information. And then finally, the blue hat will draw the conclusion. Now, if it is a decision making problem, then blue hat will define the topic of decision. Green hat will look at all the alternatives. White hat will look at the factual situations. Yellow hat will look at the suitability of those alternatives. Black hat will look at the unsuitability of those alternatives. Then red hat will make the decision and blue hat will assess the decision. So that is how this six thinking hat works. I have a small quiz to see how much you have understood this concept. The first question, when it comes to problem solving, we come out by asking a negative question such as what if, if we lose all our money? Which type of hat you related to? Red, green, blue, yellow hat, black hat or white hat? So we'll move to next question. When you have a group project, you started to brainstorm and come up with some awesome ideas. Which type of hat you are wearing? Red, green, blue, yellow, black, and white. You can leave your answers in the comment section below, like 1A or 1C, 1D, or 2A or 2B. I will review your answers and will provide the correct answers afterwards.